It's the end of the year, guys. That means it's Call of Duty time. Hell yes. That's right, guys. Modern Warfare is out. Now everyone seems to be confused about this, so they think that this is a reboot, some think that this is a remake, some people think that this is a sequel, some people think it's a prequel. I'm gonna set the record straight, guys. I'm setting it straight right now. This is a reboot, a reimagining of 2007's original Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or COD 4 as us senior citizens call it. Now this is a total reboot, now it has some of the same characters, it's got Price, Price is still a badass. Um, and without going into it and spoiling the story because it kind of uh, calls back to a lot of those COD 4 roots. Um, there's some other characters in this that were in the other games. And uh, again, I'm not going to spoil it because I'm not an asshole. So I'm going to break this review down into two different parts. I'm going to do the single player and then the multiplayer because I think they both deserve their own attention respectfully. So let's start off with the single player. Let's start off with the graphics, guys. The graphics in this game are f***ing gorgeous. Like, wow! I was playing this game and I was watching the cutscenes at the beginning, kind of setting up the story. And I'm watching it and I'm like, okay, okay, alright. Cutscenes look good, look good. They look good. Then all of a sudden it throws you into the game and it just seamlessly transitions from a cutscene into the game. And I'm like, wow! Dude, this game is gorgeous! They are running a brand new engine for the first time in like 15 years. Got it! And they never really said the name of the engine. It's still not out there yet. They just said it was a advanced new engine that allowed for better... Uh, photometry and rendering and lighting and whatnot, but whatever the f*** it is, it pays off. Surprisingly, guys, I mean, Call of Duty's always had some decent graphics, but not anything to write home about, but this engine, guys, is... F f whatever the f*** they did is fantastic. Everything from the character animations, the detail in the maps, the puddles on the ground, the explosions, the visual effects are stunning, and I played this on an Xbox One X, guys. This game ran damn near flawlessly. Maybe a couple frame drops here or there. I did have a hard crash. Everyone's talking about there's some kind of hard crash issue on the Xbox where it just completely bricks your console. For a second, you have to do like a hard restart. I had one of those happen. I actually had like several of those in the beta I mentioned in my previous video. But this time I only had one and ever since I had that one crash, I haven't had any. And I've probably put close to about 25 hours in this game already. So with that being said, the graphics are phenomenal, guys. One of the best looking games of this generation, hands down. And it's a really good way to, I guess, leave no margin for error for other developers, man. I mean, if this game can look this good, imagine what people can still do on these consoles. We still have a year left before the new consoles come out. So I'm excited to see what, you know, they'll do with the, this engine going forward. This is, there's no way they're going to go back to using the old engine for the next Black Ops 5 or whatever the f*** comes out next year. So I'm, I'm very curious. I'm really excited to see what they do with the engine. Now the sound, guys. The sound is some of the best sound, probably some of the most immersive sound in a game I've heard since like Battlefield 5, well, no. The sound design is excellent, guys. It's just excellent. The sound of bullets slapping the wall that you're hiding behind, the screams on the battlefield, the explosions, just the overall chaos level, it's just hyped to a max. There's a level that used that one of the first levels of the game, you're in London at Piccadilly or however you say it, and you're, it's like a it's like a little square, like a, a shopping center, I guess, or a square inside London. And without spoiling it, all hell breaks loose, and there's people just with light machine guns walking down the streets, just mowing down pedestrians. And you're like, holy shit! And the immersion is so intense. There's like, you know, bombs going off inside buildings. There's suicide bombers. There's just, it's fucking crazy. And one of the best parts about this game, guys, is the immersion. The immersion factor is a 10 out of 10, guys. That means whether you're on the streets getting bombed or shot at, or whether you're doing a stealth mission in the night vision, guys, the immersion is there. And that's what so many games are missing nowadays. And I thought this was gonna be your, your you know, traditional bubblegum blockbuster, you know, set piece explosions and the game doing half the work for you type of campaign. But guys, they really give it to you in this one. They did not hold back with the campaign in this game. And I think that's probably one of the best decisions they made. Because when you are in, when you're going through a house at night vision and trying to determine whether a NPC character is a terrorist or not, um, you have to make split decisions, and it's got to be the right decision. Because some, you know, for example, if you go into a house, there could be a lady holding her kid or sheltering her kid from you and, and your gorillas, and it, she could, you could just be like, oh, uh, she's she's cool, she's cool, and then all, next thing you know, she throws her kid to the side and she pulls out a gun and lights you up. 
You have to make all sorts of split-second decisions like that, that that are between life and death. Now, obviously, you die, you reload the game, you know she's going to do that shit. But it's just really cool at first because, you, you you know, it really puts you in the game and it really makes you have to pay attention to what's going on. Not like the other mindless Call of Duties where you run around and you just shoot anything that moves. This one actually has, you have to make decisions on the fly and you actually have to be careful because, you know, some of these missions, these infiltration recon missions, you die in one hit, you know, it's over. So I really like that they mix up the variety of the missions and, and the sound design being as excellent as it is, it's, it just really encapsulates the, the feel of, you know, whether you're playing Alex or Farah or Kyle or one of the other characters. And yes, guys, you play multiple characters in this game, but it's okay. You really do feel like you're in their shoes and you really do feel like there is, you know, there are stakes. And that's what this game does really good is the immersion. And there hasn't been a game that has gotten you immersed this much. Guys, there's a fucking, there's a couple torture scenes in this game where like you are doing the torturing or you're being tortured and you have to survive being waterboarded like it's just like they did not hold back with this one and all of it adds to the immersion and just the sound design in general is just pops guys gameplay wise guys it's about what you can expect from call of duty except that it looks better sounds better it's more fast paced you can plant your gun on walls which makes a huge difference um in combat especially in the multiplayer but the gameplay is uh, what I like about the best about this one, guys, is that normally in the other Call of Duties, when you're playing, they'll kind of take control away from the player to show like these cool set piece moments, like a building exploding or a chopper crashing, something like that. But in this game, guys, they don't do that. Not once. You're this game. You're you're fully immersed and they do everything on the fly like choppers crashing buildings exploding they don't pause the gameplay for it for whatever reason to show any sort of set piece moment and it just happens and it's so fluid and so precise guys i never thought i'd be this excited about a call of duty game but look at this look at it. i'm like a child i'm like a kid in a candy store guys i love this game so much this the single player guys it took me about six hours to beat but um, the single player is its just full of so many different set piece moments and so many different gameplay styles, whether it's stealth, uh, all out warfare. It does such a great job with the pacing. And uh, the multiplayer is, uh, is probably the best multiplayer I've played since Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, guys. It's that good. And the funny thing is, is that there's so many people on the forums and on Reddit and, and whatever just complaining, just bitching that there's campers and that it, it's too hard and whatnot. And you know why, guys? You know why? It's because this game requires skills. Yes, there are kill streaks, but the kill streaks don't do have to work for you anymore. You actually have to be good. You got to get good at the game, guys. You got to get good. Somebody like me, I'll go on Black Ops 4, and I haven't played that game in a while. I actually logged onto it the other day, and I got my ass kicked, guys. I got my ass kicked because there's people sliding around in their unicorn outfits, shooting me with like fucking flying drones, and I'm like, what is going on? There's the attack dogs coming at me, and I'm like, this isn't the game is doing half the work for you. Where's the skill, right? And then I log on to this game, and it's just all pure skill. It's pure skill, guys. It's tactics. It's it's training. It's using your vi environment around you. It's being stealthy, being tactical. And I'm annihilating motherfuckers on this game, guys. Just uh, completely annihilating. And it's because all these people are being desensitized from the previous couple few Call of Duties, and they don't they lost their skill. There's just no skill involved anymore. And this game requires skill, guys. So there's a multitude of different multiplayer options and maps. Um, so, for example, Ground War is probably the biggest edition. Ground War, literally the biggest edition. It's about 32 versus 32. They were in talks of doing 50 versus 50, like 100 player matches. So we'll see how that goes. That is probably going to be the Battle Royale coming out at some point next year. But the Ground War mode, the 32 versus 32, is pretty awesome. They have two maps that I've seen so far. And I've been playing several hours of Ground War. And I've only seen the two maps. There's like the refinery, er they're like the uh, factory. Uh, mining area and then there's like a large metropolitan area it's a big city and it's really cool because you can go in almost every building and every floor like there's one building where you can just run up like 32 flights of stairs to get to the rooftop and you can snipe or you can shoot missiles down whatever and the ground war mode is really cool it does suffer from some technical hiccups i guess you could say like the frame rate struggles to keep up a little bit it can get a little bit too chaotic i guess um, they do bump the health up, so people can take more than one or two shots and they're down, which is which is pretty cool. I mean, it gets really chaotic. So all you normies that don't like to go down after two to four bullets. Guys, there was a guy on a forum who was complaining that you, after you get shot with an assault rifle, that you die after two to four bullets. I'm like, in what? imagine a world where you get shot with by two to four assault rifle rounds, 5.56 five, rounds or 7.62 rounds, and you die. 
Hmm, imagine that. Well, this one's for you normies. Go play the 32 versus 32. You'll get a, you'll get a little bump in health, so you can do all the running and gunning you want. There's also a 2v2 mode, Gunfight, which is probably one of my favorite modes. Uh, it's a good break away from the chaos sometimes. You just get together with a buddy or four buddies, you know, three buddies, four of you total, and you do a private match. And you just go 2v2, and it's it's a showcase of skill, guys, is all it is. It's a showcase of skill. They randomly spawn guns for you. Um, they, like, they give you random guns every time, and you've got to make do with what you got. And it's just a, it's a real showcase of skill sets, guys. And then you have your traditional 8v8, 6v6 modes, even 12v12. Um, the maps are the best maps in the Call of Duty since um, probably Modern Warfare 3. Um, they got rid of the three lane system that they had where there was three lanes that just met at a choke point and then the choke point was where all the battle happened. Nope, they've done away with that. They've made proper maps, guys. They've made maps that have multiple different choke points, lanes. It's just, they're all, they're proper maps, guys. They're maps with like a, a house, a big old, you know, palace in the center and then surrounding the palace there's walls. And then in, in the inside the palace, there's different rooms and catacombs, and it's just so, they're so well done. And the multiplayer just feels so meaty when you when you shoot people, guys. It feels like you're hitting them. And it's because they've done away with the the light system as well. When you shoot somebody like a, like, like like you're using a ray gun, and the bullet is just a beam of light that registers and it kills the player. They use actual projectiles in this game. So yes, there is bullet drop. You do have to account for recoil more. You have to account for all that. You actually have to hit people, guys. You gotta hit. You gotta have skill in this game. And it's, and it's just so well done. It's my favorite Call of Duty multiplayer. I, play, I put about 30 hours, maybe more, in the beta already, guys. And then this game came out, and I'm already like 25 hours deep, and it came out a couple days ago. So I'm definitely going to be on this game for a long time. It's the best Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2, guys. Absolutely worth the buy. For $60, guys, you're going to get a hell of a value. I haven't even touched the Spec Op modes yet, where there's four different maps, and you can play with four up to four people. Um, it's like a co-op mode. I haven't touched that yet because I've been so balls deep in the multiplayer and then I finished the campaign. Um, but there's just so much bang for your buck. There's ground war, there's gunfight, they're, they're going to be adding free DLC. So as long as they don't f*** it up with microtransactions, guys, this could be one of the best, most revolutionary games for the series in the longest time. And I really hope they stick with it. I hope that they don't go back on their word that there's going to be absolutely no loot boxes and bullshit microtransactions, nothing non-cosmetic. And let's just hope that they do it, guys. But for now, excellent, excellent game. Well worth the buy. Well worth the money, guys. So go pick it up. If you guys already picked it up or you're on the fence, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in your comments whether you're going to or not. And then uh, we'll see you guys in the next Talk Gaming Review. Thanks, guys. Enemy.